Joining me in the kitchen today is Nick Decker from the Greater Columbus Arts Council. Thanks for being here, Nick. It is my pleasure. Thank you. Of course. <laughs> so, Nick, why don't you tell us a little bit about GCAC? So, uh, the Greater Columbus Arts Council, we do a lot of different things. Um, we're primarily a granting organization, so we give grants to organizations and artists across Columbus, and we help support their seasons, their projects. We help them make art across the city. Um, we also produce the Columbus Arts Festival, which mm. is a big to-do every June. And uh, we just have a variety of programs that kind of help enhance life in Columbus and enhance the cultural scene. That's wonderful. <laughs> We're so grateful to GCAC. It's just a great organization. Yeah. But in addition to that, you have an alter ego as well. <laughs> Your shirt gives away. Yes. You're known as Dr. Breakfast. I am. I, I am. Yep. Tell me about that moniker <laughs> and your role as a food and travel writer. So I've been doing food and travel writing for 15 years. I started a blog called Breakfast with Nick just for fun back in 2007. And um, at the same time, I was lecturing at Ohio State in the theater department, and I had finished grad school, so I actually had a doctorate, so I was a, a it's real legit. doctor. It's Yeah, it's a real <laughs> degree. And uh, when I would lecture to my intro to theater students as a joke, I said, well, because I have a doctorate and because I love breakfast, you guys can call me Dr. Breakfast. And, and then it kind of caught on. The legend was born. <laughs> yep. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, yeah, so you, I mean, your recipes, I feel like you feature a lot on your blog and yeah. on your Instagram. Yep. A lot of it's breakfast-focused recipes you work yeah. on and showcasing places yeah. in Columbus. Yeah, it's, I mean, we just have so many good places to show off. We just love to kind of cheer on all the small businesses and help people find everything from coffee shops to bakeries to breweries to you name it. Which is the best. Breakfast yep. is the best meal it, it really of the is. day. Yeah, it it's is. unquestionable. So of course, we had to today make a breakfast dish and this is yeah. one of your favorite dishes. Yeah. Can you tell us about what we're going to make? So this is called a Dutch baby. Mm -hmm. It goes by different names. Some people know it as a German pancake. I like the name Dutch baby because I have Dutch heritage. So even if there's you nothing know. Dutch about it, you know, just like French toast isn't French. Right. I'll, I'll still embrace that it. That works. So. Um, yeah, our good friend Sam taught it to us years ago, and um, it's very easy to make. It's ingredients that you pretty much always have in the house, so we just love to whip it up just as a family or when we have guests over. Amazing. <laughs> well, tell me what ingredients we need to get started. So what we're going to need are six eggs, one cup of milk, one cup of flour, three tablespoons of sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla, a half teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay, so our oven is preheated to 450. What's our next step? So our very first step is we are going to take the biggest cast iron pan that you have. That's a big one. And we're going to put that in the oven to preheat. I feel like I'm being passed the torch, That's the right. breakfast torch. Okay, so I'll get this in the oven. Oh, she heavy. Okay. In there, and it'll warm up. Yep. So just while you're mixing things together, you just want that to be pretty much oven temperature. So it, it cooks things like really quickly. You want it to almost like sear the bottom of the pancake. Yum. So okay. while we have a minute, why don't you tell yeah. me a little bit about the Columbus Makes Art campaign? Yeah, so Columbus Makes Art is a citywide arts marketing campaign. It's designed to share the story of art and artists in Columbus. And the way we do that is we kind of front the stories of artists. So we want people to go, you know, see gallery exhibitions. We want them to go see shows. But we want them to learn about those things by getting to know the artists. Who are the people that live in the city with you? What do they create? What inspires them? What do they love about the city? And then hopefully that kind of brings you along to discover their work. That's amazing. It's such yeah. a great way to connect the people to the artists. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and we have a whole site that we built out that tells stories of artists and it lists events and public art around the city and just all sorts of stuff. What a great resource. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> well, I'm excited to get into this and make our Dutch baby. Yeah. So why don't you walk me through the process of making the batter? Yeah. So what I like to do is uh, start by just whisking together the dry ingredients. Okay, so I can just sort of toss so, these in. So, yep, just kind of put them all in. Okay, so this is our flour. Uh, yep. And the reason that I like doing all the dry ingredients first is mm -hmm. especially because of that cinnamon. cinnamon. I found that when I, if I put that in with wet ingredients, it tends to kind of clump up around the edges. Oh, okay. And I just, I like the cinnamon mixed all nicely throughout. Yeah, you want to mix so. We've added our cinnamon and our salt to the flour. Now we're adding the three tablespoons of sugar. Yep. Okay. Three whole tablespoons Whoa, of sugar. Whoa, gotta make it sweet. <laughs> and then just whisk yep, this. Yeah, just kind of a simple whisk just until, I, especially that cinnamon is sort of blended Ooh, it throughout. it smells so fragrant I know, already. Yeah, it always smells so good. So okay. That's, that's about it. And then you can just go about and just add the just uh, add the wet, wet ingredients. ingredients right in. Yeah, okay. just kind so of these at your leisure. Six, here I go, literally. <laughs> six eggs mm -hmm. into our dry ingredients. There you go. This is exciting. A little bit of vanilla. Yep. Which also mm -hmm. just smells so lovely, mm -hmm. especially when that Can't bakes. bake without vanilla. Yeah. And then the milk. Yep. Kind of bring it together. Yeah. Should I whisk from here or use the scraper? Does it matter? I, I use the whisk uh, okay. just because you want this to be as smooth as, as you can get with the batter. 
Break Make sure, yeah, yolks, break up those eggs and, those yolks and everything. So this is like one bowl. Like, it's yeah. not elaborate. It's, it's super simple. I mean, it's it's just, yeah, it's such a simple batter. Yeah. Um, I often like to put the eggs and milk and get those out first, mm. like as I'm preheating the oven. Just from my experience, I see it seemed to get kind of a better rise out of the Dutch baby if those are room, room temperature. temperature. I'm sure someone smarter than me knows the science of why that <laughs> it is. incorporates. <laughs> Who knows? It's good. We know it works. Yeah. All right. So just kind of keep going until it's yep. real smooth and make yep. sure those yolks yeah. pop those yolks. And you can be pretty like Should vigorous be more with it. Yeah, I'm aggressive whisking. Yeah. Show me your aggressive whisking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you just think about something that makes you really angry and then you just get your <laughs> frustrations yeah. out yeah. on the batter. Yeah. I love it. And I usually try to, I'm sure there's other techniques, but I'll try to kind of break up any clumps against the mm. walls of the bowl Oh yeah, because you're kind well. of releasing more dry ingredients. Yeah. Get those all um, mixed up. And if it's a tiny bit chunky, we, it's been fine for us too, but yeah. I just, I think it always looks nicer when it's like oh, as smooth sure. as is possible. Is this something your family expects? Like Saturday morning, we're gonna get Dutch Baby, or is this like a special <laughs> treat? It's, you know, we make it pretty regularly. I mean, it's it's always met with those mornings when I'm like, how about I make a Dutch baby? And everyone's like, yeah. Yeah, we've been waiting so, for you to suggest yeah. that. <laughs> we love making it for company too, because mm -hmm. when it comes out of the oven, it looks really impressive. Is it a bit and of a so, showstopper? I know, yeah. It looks, <laughs> makes it look like you really know what you're doing in I'm the kitchen. I'm so excited to see it. <laughs> yeah, so that's looking, that's looking pretty good. good. Yeah, nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. Okay, and great. Yeah, there it is. Yay, our batter is done. <laughs> Okay, so our skillet's out of the oven. It's yep. screaming hot. We're on yep. the with our hands. So the next thing you do is add a little bit of butter. Yeah, just a tablespoon or two. Just okay. kind of toss it in there. Oh, sizzles. Oh, yeah. And so what I'm going to do is we just want the butter to kind of coat the entire pan. Okay. So I'll just kind of sit here and... Let it melt. Spin it around. Toss and, it around. Yeah. So this not only adds buttery flavor, but yeah. will it help release the... Yeah, yeah. It keeps it from sticking to the pan and okay. everything. Um, if you're using a, a skillet with sides like this, make sure you mm. kind of tip it. And um, I try and get it as far up the sides as I can. Good thinking. Um, just to get it all golden brown every way around and stuff. I am glad you're doing this and not me. It's like a doctor <laughs> breakfast task. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> hours of practice. Yes. I've put in my uh, Malcolm Gladwell 10,000 yes. hours. On <laughs> so, um, so yeah, and then you just Ooh, want the butter. It's starting to smell like brown butter. I know. Mm, it's like nutty. Yeah. So yeah, okay. once it's pretty much all um, melted, then you're just going to pour the just whole thing pour in this there. In. Yep. Just kind of straight in and then make sure you have a. Do I scrape out the little yeah. extra bits? So we yeah, don't we just want all that behind. delicious batter in there. Yes. <laughs> it smells good. Yeah. It's like already starting to cook. Yeah, you'll see it around the edges once you put it in. Okay. Um, it, it starts uh, kind of browning a little bit. Okay, so then we'll get this in the oven. Yeah, and then it just goes straight in. Great. All right. So the Dutch baby's in the oven while we wait patiently. Yeah. Uh, why don't you tell me a little bit about how GCAC supports artists with grants and fellowships? Yeah. So we do a lot of support of individual artists. So there's hundreds of artists across the city every year that get grants from us to work on their various projects. Um, we have a lot of specific programs too, like we have the Neighborhood Arts Connection Fellowships, which are newer. And those um, support projects in specific neighborhoods that kind of celebrate um, nice. and connect with those neighborhoods all around the city. Um, we have some great programs with the Art Museum, with the uh, Amina Robinson Fellowships, which even includes a residency that an artist can get to live in Amina Robinson's house for really? six months and be able to create work and be in her studios and everything, which is just an amazing legacy. Um, and we have our Thrive Grants too, which are designed specifically to help organizations led by people of color and help kind of develop them and establish them and help them kind of grow their offerings for the city. That's amazing. What great work, incredible opportunities. Yeah. yeah. We're excited to do it. All right, let's see if we can get a peek. Ah, look at that, it's getting so big. So it's, it's gorgeous, it yeah. looks so great. Yep, it always looks so good coming out of the oven. And then what we do is we just put it on the counter or the cutting board and I'm just gonna cut it into quarters for our family of four. Four big pieces. Kind of perfect, yep. That's my kind of breakfast. Yep. So just sort of cut it right across and then everyone grabs a slice. Okay, all right. Okay. Oh my gosh, it looks beautiful. Yeah. And then toppings, so we have some of your favorite toppings here. Yeah, so my favorite things, I love putting blueberries and some maple syrup and a little bit of powdered sugar. Oh, that sounds like the perfect mix, <laughs> so we'll go ahead and do that. All right. A little syrup. Nice. Yeah, okay. a little good Ohio yep. maple syrup is my favorite. And powdered sugar. Yep. Boop. 
And you can do it sweet or savory. You can do all sorts of nice. different things. So many options. Yeah. Oh, it looks so good. I would like to eat it. All right. All right, take a bite. Take a bite. Okay. It's so good. Yep. <laughs> that is really just right. Delicious. Yep. It's like French toast, kind of like a pancake, yeah. but also unlike kind anything. Kind of the best of both worlds, yes. yeah. Yes, and it's not too sweet, so the yeah. toppings pair well. Yeah, you can do like savory stuff. I mean, we've done like bacon and sausage. Oh, um, my wife makes like a lemon curd she'll put on it. So it really, you can kind of do anything with Infinite it. Infinite possibilities. Yeah. This is incredible. Thanks so much for sharing yeah, this recipe. Yeah, my pleasure.